Hello everybody, it is Arctic Weather here to give the voice critiques, and I'm assisted by my very, very demented sidekick, Melody Kale. Watch out! Yes. Anyway, we are going to critique your entries because we think this is a decent way of judging and it shows what we like, what we're not too keen on, and what overall we love about your work. It's also constructive and could help you improve your arts, hopefully. Um, ignore our very, very stupid accents. Okay. Anyway. Right. First entry is by Takashika Kayato247. I like her entry because it's kept to the colour scheme and it's even had a few more colours in there. I like the little odd socky feature as well. It's so cute and adorable. Kitty like. Yeah, that's the only problem. It's a bit kitty-like. I mean, Dumphog is a hedgehog. Well, hedgy hoggoo, but it's a little bit too cat-like. I still like it. The spike design's cool, though. Yeah, the spike design's cool. I mean, I still like it. I could use it for Spitfire or something, but it's just a little bit too cat-like for Dumphog. Anyway, the next entry was by Claudia the Angel Fox. Um, colourful. Yeah, it's added a lot more a lot more colour in there, I guess. And a little clothes design little clothes design rather than shoes. And the little collar is cute as well. Over I just feel it's not really evolved much from the original design. I mean it's still okay, but it's just not really evolved as much. So still it's not bad. Next one was by Grace the Hedgehog. This one's cute and adorable and I love it. I like this one. Bap, 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 bap. Okay, no, anyway. Shush! Okay. Um, I like how it's all fluffy. Fluffiness is for cool. Especially the fluffy, fluffy ears. And the little muzzle. Um, again, very kitty-like. Again, it's a, yes, it's a little kitty-like, though it's, you can still recognise it's a hedgehog. It looks like a dog. What are you saying, Kitty? It's a dog, you fool. Kitty anyway. dog. Kitty dog, then. Fine, it's a kitty dog. But either way, it's still cute and adorable, and I love the little collar. The little collar's adorable, it really is. Okay, next. The next entry was by Zelda TP101. Her one's very, very fluffy as well. It's got a little fluffy muzzle. And I oh, like the. Nice. Fluffy is amazing. Don't diss the fluffy. Anyway, um, I like the claws as well because it's kind of changed him from the more ch from chibi to be more of an animal. Interesting uh, muzzle design as well. Yeah, that's what I said. Hmm? Oh well, I don't yeah, care. Emily laughs. It's still pretty. Anyway, spiky cleats for the win as well. So it's just a little bit too similar to Dumhog though, but it's still amazing. So shush. Anyway, next one was by Sonartic. I really, really like this one when I first saw it's it. It's a lot more realistic as well. Yeah, it's way, it's realistic, and I love realism because it kind of moves it away from Sonic. Though the only problem is, I have no idea how I'm going to draw it if I did it as a comic and would have to draw it the same every time. I wouldn't be able to do it. Mm. I, mean, I could try. I mean, I could always use that for other works and try, but. It's just way too hard, even though she did it quickly, but still I like this I like this now now to put it again. Next entry was by Penelope Hedgehog. A lot different from the other entries. Yeah, it's different. Uh what's it? It's a bit do too dog like though. Over it's got the all fours thing, but it's still it's just a bit too much like a dog rather than the dumb hog. Yeah. However, I do like the tail. The tail is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. I appreciate the effort you went to this one as well. Really good job. Anyway. The next entry is by Libby, Liberty Yon. One. No, Liberty One. Uh, his entry, it's very sim it's a bit similar to Sun Arctic's and Dumhog himself, though it is obvious there are a few differences. I mean, like, he's got paws and flamey designs and everything. 
It looks a bit more like a porcupine, but it's still good. Um, um, the snout just a bit is a little bit too long for me, but I do like it. I really do, and I like the little feet. Little feet. Okay. Next one is I by really Mythic Dark Dragon S thirteen. I really, really like this one. Yes, we re we like this one because it's completely different and the concept of it, like the only cyber thing in natural world. I really love love that idea, though. At the same time, while I really love that idea, it's the only problem because Dumb Hog's world is all natural and just cyber wouldn't really fit. However, I would love to have this as a separate character. Like a metal dumb hog. Like, yeah, like a metal dumb hog or even a form or something. I really want to use it. It's awesome. It's amazing. Anyway. Next one was by Super Badger Man. I like his. It's really good. It's really good design wise. I mean, like, it's got little pointed ears and it it just brings out how dumb he is, kind of. <laughs> and that's that's good. I mean, look at the look. He's even got duct tape on him. How cool! Everyone looks, is, duct, tape. Everyone looks duct tape. And how cool is dumb is duct tape to make someone look dumb? Seriously, it looks awesome. And it's got little fluffy bits like everywhere, oh, and the pointy ears, which they'd make him look more demony as well, as well as the claws. Oh yeah, yeah this I is yes, yeah. this is one of the first entries I had as well, and I, it kind of inspired me to actually make the make the contest. So good job, Super Badger Man. And that's it. Uh, I apologise for this rather crap critique, but. Um, well, I'm not really happy. You, <laughs> she, you've given your opinion. That'll do. Anyway, yeah. but yeah, um, I'm sorry that it just seems a little basic. But if you want me to go into depth with anything, just say. And if your entry's not here, I will obviously pick it up and update it and everything because this is just something quickly thrown together before the contest has ended. I mean, like, we've not said which is first, which is second on here yet, have we? No. So, yes. We'll decide that in a bit. Yes, we're deciding that later. So, if anyone wants an in-depth critique on their their entry, then feel free to just ask for it. On um, another thing, I would also, I'd also love to do video critiques on anyone's artwork. So, if you want me to do that, I will do that. And I'm sure Melody would love to help me. Okay. Um, if you want critique to be harsh or nice, just say again. I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So I get chocolate now. Yes, you get chocolate now. Want some chocolate? Okay. Yes. Anyway. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope you I hope you liked your critique. I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing all your entries. Just to say thanks for everyone who entered. We really, really loved all of the designs and. We loved how many people mm -hmm. actually were willing to enter. So, yeah. Thanks, yes. guys. I love you all. Bye-bye. I don't. Stop!